Hello everyone, and welcome back to All the Mods 6. Uh, last episode, we <laughs> we hunted down in the Nether to try and uh, to try and find blazers, which was going to be in a, a really long path to get experience bottles. That, that that was what we were trying to get, and instead we just found a chest with experience bottles and some Netherite and and a lot of gold. So uh, that that's pretty good. Let's let's get crafting. Um, oh, we might actually need more iron to be <laughs> to be completely honest. Um. Yeah, we, we don't have any other iron. Oh, maybe in this. Oh, not there. In here. No. Okay. We're going to need iron because I want to make one of these XP anvils. I think this is what I need. Um, hmm. I, see, I'm very confused by these pedestals because essentially what I'm trying to do is put this pedestal thing onto um, the tree chopper upgrade or the harvester upgrade, right? And... I don't know how to. So, I think, regardless, I think we need an anvil. Whether or not we need this anvil is a different story. But I guess if the anvil doesn't work, we need that anvil. Um, okay, iron shouldn't be too hard to come by. So, I'm going to just go down here because we have this massive area that we chopped up. Oh, we also have a pesky villain down here. See, look. look we, we, we've left a bunch of iron, so it should be pretty easy. As long as I've got my shapeless... Oh, I did not expect that to... I'm in creative mode. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, th there goes that iron. Okay, well, here we go. That's fine. <laughs> it explains why the zombie didn't come for me either. Alright. I guess I've, I've got to check that more often. I was in creative mode for the, um... The checking out the base vid, actually. So, that's a good little plug. You guys should go check that out. It was a pretty beautiful base. What did I say? Um... Do I not see the outlines anymore? What? The outlines was my favorite part of the plugin of this mod. What? Oh, I'm gonna have to check the config. Uh, it, surely it's a config. Ulti mine, FTB ulti mine, category. Ah, oh, that's really sad. I really enjoyed the the outline of it. It separated it from just normal vein mine. Ah, oh, I I mean I guess it's okay. I guess I can live with it for this episode. Um, but yeah, because we we did update. We're on a 1.5.2, I believe, which is pretty cool. Um, look, look at this. There's plenty of iron around and a bunch of weird other blocks. What's this? Dark runestone. Yeah, we don't need it yet. <laughs> we know where to find it. Here's the cinnabar. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, uh, no, no, sir. I don't want any. <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> Go away. We're closed. We're closed. How much iron's that? Hmm. That's like a stack of iron. How much do you need for a for an anvil? You need three blocks in a bit? That, that should be plenty. That should be plenty. Alright, we'll, we'll go give this a... Where did this guy come from? You know, a similar thing happened in my Die Wolf 20 playthrough. I had a zombie that was, like, walking up the stairs and, and would not turn around to face me. Um, no matter how close I got. What do you... Okay, he'll come up later. He'll come up when he's ready. Nope, it looks like he's ready. <laughs> anyway, let's chuck this stuff in. Get it processing. Um... It should process, hopefully. Uh, what do I need to do? I guess I'll just keep keep doing this. I'll keep mining. I'll grab I'll grab some more, and I'll be back when. Ho Look at it. What? Where are you going? <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Uh, hopefully, when that's okay. What is happening? Why are there this many zombies? I. What is actually going on? Did did someone mess with zombie spawns? Oh, is that iron? Ooh. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> What is going on? Are you guys... Why... <laughs> Why are there this many zombies? Uh, they, they've just been constantly coming. Oh, but... What is actually going on? Am I being I must be being trolled. What? Why are there just so many zombies? And I hear a skeleton. Okay. Okay. What? I'm... I... Like, look, there's loot down here from dead zomb... They're just walking up and dying. I've got a zombie farm. Also, that is ridiculous. Apparently, they just grow and keep growing. Um, yeah. <laughs> sure. Why not? I think our, our wheat's... Uh, if I can jump up here. Yeah, our wheat's fully grown too. Okay. Um, I was also going to speed up some of this. Because our... These guys are not fast enough, so I probably should make more. 
that would be the smart thing to do, but instead I'm just sort of not, for some reason. <laughs> instead I'm getting new things. Um, we should totally have enough iron now to do the stuff and the things, though, right? Let's give it a shot. Ah. Anvil time. I believe it's three blocks. And then... Oh, we've got plenty. We probably could have done it before. Maybe. And then that. Beautiful anvil. The anvil can be enchanted? What? What do you mean the anvil can be enchanted? Unbreaking? Sure. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Alright, let's place a torch. Um, alrighty, so. I need my thing. <laughs> I need my stuff. <laughs> that would prob probably help, if I'm being completely honest. Also, a little bit long for... What just hit me? Did I just get hurt? There's two Endermen flying around the map. Do you see that? Over in that direction? I think they're Endermen. What? And it should... Why are there so many mobs? And there's a skeleton! I I do not know what's going on. Something must have changed. There must have been a mod change or something in this late, in this recent update. Alright, let's grab the harvester. Let's grab the pedestal range upgrade. See if we can slap these on. If we can, beautiful. If we can't, not beautiful. Oh, we don't want to rename it. We want to add this. <sighs> That's not good. That is not good. Because now this doesn't make sense. We'll only accept the range enchant when being enchanted. Yep. That, that part, we're done. We put it in the enchanting table, and it can only get the range upgrade, so we put the range upgrade on it. The range enchantment. Next up, can only add enchant from book to upgrades with the anvil upgrade. Or, we can only add books to upgrades with the anvil upgrade. So, the upgrades need an anvil upgrade? Is that... Does that make sense? Pedestal range, pedestal area. Okay. These are the upgrades it can have. So it can have range on it. Perfect. And then that's it. Interesting. How peculiar. Can we just... See, we only get an area three. I'm a... Oh, that's that's all we've got. Hmm. Interesting. I'm very confused. Let's put it on. Okay, we've got range and area. So now it does a nine by three by nine. Oh no, we got... What? We got speed in area. I am so confused. In case you couldn't tell. The upgrades with the anvil upgrade. How do you get an anvil upgrade? I should probably look this up, but... I also sort of just don't really want to. <laughs> is that the anvil upgrade? <laughs> this is the only upgrade. The XP anvil upgrade. There's no other anvil upgrade that I can see. So should I try and make this and put it on? I don't I don't really know what it does. I'm pretty sure this goes on a pedestal. I, I read it, what it says. Yeah, yeah look at this. Um, needs XP, place an in inventory below the pedestal for items needing repaired and items being combined. Okay, so maybe that will combine it. Um, place pedestals around the upgraded one. Northeast, southwest, with one space in between. Items placed on these four pedestals will be combined with the item in the inventory below the upgraded pedestal. Huh. Maybe this is what we need. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. I don't know why I ran over here, but uh, I guess I need the iron. Uh, the, whoop, nope, the gold. Yeah, the gold. Okay, gold, linking tool. Let's give this a shot. Okay. Pedestal upgrade with, I don't know if I need that. With the anvil, and I think an XP bottle. Like so. Yes, XP anvil upgrade, we'll do it. We can always enchant another anvil, I don't think that's a problem. Um, next up we need pedestals. Do we have pedestals hiding out and about somewhere, or do we use them all? We have one. Uh, we'll probably need a few more, right? Stone, stone, any smooth stone. Oh, plenty of... Oh, that is... <laughs> that is exactly what we want to see. Alright, let's do... Mm, maybe two lots of this, and then does it go like this? I I I already don't know how the pedestal works. <laughs> pedestal. Oh, the linking tool goes there. I was close. Okay. You can't you can't take that from me. I was close. Do this. 
Boom. Boom. Okay, look, look at this. I press up, I click, and it auto-fills. It's not flawless. Like, it could definitely be better. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It does the job. I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. Alright, so now we have, what, eight pedestals? Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to grab this, we're going to grab this, we're going to grab this. Hmm. Um, I guess we can try it right here. So, one pedestal in the middle, which needs an inventory below it. So, we'll put a chest under there. Do we have any chests on demand? No. Okay. <laughs> of course. Why would we? Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to need these. Boom, boom. Chest, boom. Okay. So, chest under here. And then, one here, one here, here, and here. With this on that. And that there. And then, this on there. Do I need to link them? I don't... Oh yeah, but, uh, maybe I should read it again. Alright, XP Anvil. Let, let's read this. Place the items around the upgraded one. It, oh, place pedestals around the upgraded one. What? Around the upgraded one. Okay, yeah. So, so place pedestals around this one, which is upgraded with the, with the Anvil upgrade. So, place pedestals around it. Yep. We, we've done that. That makes sense. Um, yep. Um... One space in between. Items placed on these four pedestals will be combined with the item in the inventory below the upgraded pedestal. So we have the item in there. Do the thing. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm, I'm going to try throwing an experience bottle at it. Or a few. We'll see what this does. Oh. That didn't work. Um, hmm. Use to store massive amounts of XP when linked with the pedestal with an XP upgrade. It will transfer XP to the linked pedestal. I don't know how this works. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, I might read the book or I might look up a wiki, but I'll be back either way. Oh. Alright, so I haven't really learnt much. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, oh, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. No, nope. okay, that was just a weird inventory bug. Um... I'm going to try and make a few other things. <laughs> a few other things. Yeah, good, good explanation. Um, yeah, but, but that's literally what we're going to do. So, I'm going to make a few more of these pedestal things. Um, pedestal upgrade bases. And I'm going to try to make an XP tank, which needs a cauldron. Should be quick and easy. Cauldron, pedestal, bottle of enchanting. Perfect. Easy. Done. Um, I think we need a relay. Transferring XP long distances one link to another pedestal with an XP upgrade. It will transfer XP to the linked pedestal. We might not need this. We just need to figure out how to get um, XP or oh, XP magnet. Ooh, I think that's what we need. So block of iron, redstone, things and things. Block of this, block of this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and the blank. Okay. I think this is all we need. Also, what is that? It was fish. Okay. Okay. Oh, creepy flower? I thought it was a spider. That was very creepy. Okay. Mm, I'm scared of the tree people. I don't know if I trust it. <laughs> okay. 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 Also, I think we're on a higher, a harder difficulty. I think that's why we're experiencing what we're experiencing with the amount of mobs. Um, okay. Okay. So I'm going to place these pedestals, I don't know, say like this, right? One of them is going to be a tank. One of them is going to be an XP magnet. Um, and then I think I should be able to, say, throw that. Oh. That didn't really... I didn't expect it to get down. <laughs> Alright, we're going to pick that up. Um, and we're going, to, we're going to throw some here. Hmm. Do you think it's stored any? <laughs> uh, we want this to be receiving, this to be giving. Link successful. Okay. And then we want this to be receiving and this to be sending. Okay. Progress, I think. I hope. This upgrade's in here. Once it's done, it should output it on the top. That's what's meant to happen. Let's also, while we're here, make... um. 
where is it? This bottle. Just so that we have it. Um, dum boom 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 boom. Bottle and oh, one of these. One of these. One of these, please. Boom 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 boom. Bing boom boom. Boom. Oh, I've also that's a cheated item. Um. Okay. 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 And a bottler and this. And okay. 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 Now I can spend my XP bottles without feeling guilty. So I can throw these. I can back up. It's absorbed them. It's put the experience in here. Perfect. Let's use up half of these. I don't really know what's going to happen. No, no, I don't want them. Okay. Oh, Ooh, you know what? I can probably kill you near here. And the XP can go in the thingy. How's that sound? I don't... I don't think it really worked. <laughs> you can also set up mob farms with this. Do you hear? What's drinking? Oh! Is it when I stand on one of them? Is it absorbing my experience? Oh yeah it is! Look at that! Look at that! Perfect! Okay. <laughs> okay. See, I... What I assume, here's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming there's an internal buffer of experience and I need to provide enough for that to be put onto that, right? I feel like that adds up. That makes sense. <laughs> but it's also, it's a bit weird. I'm just sort of sitting here, not really, not really doing much. I mean, maybe a speed upgrade would help. I mean, it's sparkling. Hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. I don't... <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah. Maybe maybe I'll be back. <laughs> back again. Alright. Um, so I have a new plan. We're going to just try out this harvester with the upgrade as it is. And we're going to throw in the tree chopper and see if maybe that works. It did. Okay. Brilliant. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Now... This tree chopper chops in a 3 by 23 by 3 And I think that middle number is the height. So it will now hopefully chop an entire tree. Oh, that is really good. Okay, okay, oh, oh, I think we're cooking now. I think we're in business. Um, so the range upgrade might not actually affect, be what we want for this anyway. We might have just wanted area upgrades on the pedestal. On um, the harvester upgrade is what I was trying to say there. Um, okay, let me grab some stone. We don't have any more. Ooh. I need, oh, no, we got a bit more in here. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, boom, boom. I remember how to do this. Boom, boom. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I know what I'm doing. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's go give this a shot. Also, while we're at it, let's have a little look at uh, what's happening over here. So, the farm is pretty cool. We'll try and automate the harvesting of that a little bit. What is going on? These guys are booking it. Oh, it's a, it's a zombie on a chicken. Baby zombie on a chicken. Um... This guy has been left alone. All the saplings have ran out. So, we, we had, what, 10 saplings in here? Hello, chicken. So, we should get 10 saplings worth of wood. 10 trees worth. Hmm. I, I don't think that adds up. I'm, I'm going to be completely real with you. I don't think that adds up. Anyway. Anyway, let's, um, let's give this guy a whirl. What should we try it on? This tree? This is a pretty big tree. If you could chop down this tree, it could chop down any tree. Right? Um... Let's place the dirt here, because this is where it would be. We would have our pedestal here. And we would have our tree chopper on. Okay. Now, I mean, it goes 23 blocks up. That should reach the whole thing. And then what we can do is put an area upgrade on it. Um, to get it that extra, uh, extra range. Extra, extra area is what, is what it literally is. I don't know why I keep, why I'm struggling with that. I think this works. Right? So what we want now is a, an area book. We want one of these guys. Um, oh, actually, not too bad to make. We can, <laughs> we can make one in our inventory. Perfect. We, yeah, I think we can do this right now. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay. Hmm. It does seem to be... Storing only specific things. Okay, has it finished? Has it chopped its last log? Come on. Oh, one more. 
It's these are very big trees. Like these aren't vanilla trees. If you're playing with not these trees, you should be fine. But even if you are with these trees, my god, <laughs> that is that is awesome. That is actually extremely good. We got what, just under twenty logs from that. Oh, that is perfect. Let's pick this guy up. Um, we'll have to drop some stuff. Eh, eh, drop this. Um, drop this. Nope. Oh, yep. Okay, we're good. All right, I'm gonna sort out my inventory, and um, we're gonna we're gonna try some things. All right, first things first. Let's try enchanting this area book. Okay, we need. Hmm. Oh, we need a little bit more lapis, I think. Yeah, I think we need more lapis lapi lazuli. So let's um take care of our zombie spawner <laughs> that apparently we have. Um, no lapis. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to go mining. Um. Before we do that, um, because we sort of know the tree's going to work. So I think next episode, because it is pretty late for me, um, we'll probably try and set up an actual tree farm. But let's also give this guy a go. A go um, the harvester. So this guy does, what is it? A 9x9. Nine nine. He does a 9x9. Nine nine. So I should be able to, in theory, place him right above this block. And it should do its thing. Now, it also does a 3Y level. Like a, a three in the Y axis. So I assume if I place it on this block, it would chop underneath and on top as well. Which means I could place it above here and it will still chop underneath. Um, which we might do so that we can keep the, um, the water, right? Because we have this water source block. So then I should be able to place a chest like this, for instance. Oh, I didn't really want to. Like that. Perfect. Then I want to place this guy on top, so you can still open. The, oh, <laughs> you can still open the chest, and then I just place the. Oh, hmm. The harvester will chop them, but the magnet. I think we need a magnet to pick them up. Do we? What do we need? <laughs> Is it gonna do anything? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Maybe it only does above? Did I hear it chop? No. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting learning experience. Let's um let's try placing it under here. So we're gonna place the chest under here. Just to test. With the pedestal on top. Is the pedestal there? Yep, the pedestal's there. With this. Ooh! Oh, my. <laughs> I don't even, not even know where this creeper came from. Do not blow up my beautiful bookshelves, please. This spear is beautiful. Just, just on a side note. Look at how many creepers are on my map. Look at that, though. Okay. So it breaks them all pretty much instantly. And perfectly. Like, it demolishes them. Now, the problem? It doesn't replant. Um, so we're going to need a planter, which we do have. Oh, where do we have it? We have it underneath there. Hmm. What is it? There, there are way too many mobs. <laughs> there are way too many mobs. Um, hmm. Oh, cow moment. Um, hmm. How are we going to do this? We're, I think, yeah. I'm going to need some lapis. I'm going to need some range upgrades. And a bunch of stuff. But I, I'm happy. I'm happy that we learned how this works. I think this guy, you, you know, j just so that we don't end it um, too low, I think I can place this here. And he yeah, look, it's repairing. And then once it's repaired, I think it pops out on the top. Does it? Ooh. Or does it just repair everything in the chest? Nope. It's almost done. It's finished. Nothing. Nada. Not a thing. What? <laughs> oh, no, it did. It did place it on top. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright, I looked in the cave. I didn't find any any lapis. I teleported home. Um, I'm probably going to wrap it up here. Because it is extremely late for me. And my room is extremely hot. So I need to, I need to cool down later. Um, but I'm happy that we learned how this works. I'm happy that it repairs. Um, because, I, I mean, you know. It, I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> if we were to use an actual anvil, I think we could chuck that in there and repair it too. So, so it's essentially like all of our items have mending, um, which is nice. I wonder what else would be good to repair. Probably this uh, prospecting hammer, which I'm going to probably need to use to get uh, 
Oh, the lapis. Is it repairing? Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. All right. We're, we're close. We're close. So next episode, maybe we try and automate the farms and the tree farms with these pedestals. Um, and I need to build houses at some point because I look at everyone else's houses and they look beautiful and um, <laughs> I don't even have a house. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.